Alright, boys, it's that time. NASCAR 21 release gameplay footage. Oh, boys, let's, let's watch together, shall we? Here we go. We got this thing super slow mo. Um, as you can tell, it's gonna start having 0 0.25, so we're gonna watch this thing super slow. Uh, I do like the windshield build up on the cars. I think that's a great, you know, feature. It's nice. The cars look really good. The graphics are amazing. But we, you're gonna see something. You can kind of already tell a little bit. There's a little bounce. I mean, you can kind of see Bubble working the wheel a little bit. Uh, I'll give them that bump there. That's probably their real life. Um, the TV in the background looks good. And like, all the sponsors are right. I went and watched the actual footage of the Roval. So make sure all the sponsors are right. They're there. They're good. Here's my big issue. We're about to see it. Um... Going under the Bank of America, I guess that's a bridge. Um, right here is where my issue starts. And I said it in the Talladega thing with the 15 car bouncing around. I've watched Roval footage. You're about to watch Denny Hamlin. What the fuck is that? That motherfucker is bouncing like he's got a $300 eBay suspension. That does not happen. Go watch Roval footage. That The cars do not do that. I know this shit's a console game. They are console games where cars do not bounce. Grand Theft Auto Racing, the cars do not bounce like that. Uh, Hot, the new Hot Wheels game, they don't bounce like that. That's an arcade game. They've been working on this shit for two years. And I don't, and I know people are like, oh, it's their first game. They've been working on this game for two years. NASCAR Heat 5 was a copy and paste of Heat 4 with new paint. New paint schemes, new drivers, that shit. They've been working on this thing for two years. And to see that shit bounce like that, ugh, no bueno. It looks like Nicki Minaj twerking on World Star. I hope. This is not in the in the launch. When this thing comes out on the 28th or the 26th, if you got the Champions Edition, I hope it's not like that. And that's why I'm afraid they've only been showing like a minute of gameplay, and it's from a weird angle. We haven't seen far chase cams. We did in the Dev Diaries for like three to five seconds. We haven't had a gameplay footage from like a far chase, a rear chase, or front... Or just a chase cam. It's always been in the cockpit or a roof cam. It's not been from an angle where you could see the player's car. So this this is what's worrying me about this game. 
They are. I think they're hiding some stuff, man. I don't think this game is going to be that hot on launch. And I think we're going to see a lot of people complain about it. Um, and that's why I've been telling people in the last video when I made the, the Talladega thing, like, you don't want to have a game come out with a lot of bugs, especially after the disaster that was the Heat Series. NASCAR Heat Evolution had a lot of fucking hype behind it. It was a big game. Everyone was like, oh my god, this is a NASCAR game. It's going to come out. It's going to be amazing. And that shit flopped. And I'm afraid this game is going to be just like that and flop. Because they sit there and said they've been working on the physics for two years. It's not heat. They went to Unreal Engine, which the cars look amazing. I'm not going to shit on the cars. I'm not going to shit on the graphics because that shit's amazing. It looks like a 2021 game. It looks like a Madden. It looks like a FIFA. It's got the look. But watching that 11 go through, I don't know what corner that is. I'm not a big road course guy. I don't really care. I like watching NASCAR. Uh, when they race road courses, I do like watching that. But I went and watched footage from the Roval. I might throw it in at the end of this thing. Those cars don't bounce through that corner like that. My man looked like Nicki Minaj twerking. That shit was bounce, bounce, bounce. And I said at Talladega in that video, and I'm like, man, this shit don't look right. And I know I'm going to get hate on this video, just like I got hate on the Talladega one from Sloppy Joe. Like, this, this game comes out, like I said, 18 days to 20 days, depending on which version of the game you got. I got the Champions Edition. I paid $100. For this game. So I get my copy two days early. If you're worried about buying this game. I would say wait until people play it. Watch it the first two nights. Get it the 28th. Because there's going to be people upload content. The first night it comes out on the 18th. If you got the Champions Edition. Or the not 18th. Fuck me. If you got the Champions Edition, it comes out the 26th. If you got the regular edition, it's the 28th. So the 26th to the 28th, watch gameplay footage to see if stuff's fixed. That's all I can tell you. Um, right now, my honest opinion is I pre-ordered the game. I'm going to say if, you wanna, if you're a hard-working person like I am who busts my ass off, Paycheck to paycheck, I would say wait until you see gameplay before you make a purchase on this. That's been my rant, man. Uh, like I said, graphics look good. Windshield buildup looks good. Just when you sit here and say that you've been working two years on physics. Because you can't say that you, you put your heart and soul into Heat 5 last year when that game was just copy and pasted. The new paint schemes. They've had two years to work on this game. And we're getting that footage 20 days before release. A minute and something of footage. I, I'm afraid they're hiding some stuff, man. I'm afraid this thing's not going to be hot at launch. Uh, so, like I said, if you're a hard-working person like I am, I would say save your money. Watch the first two days of gameplay from the 26th to the 28th and make your decision on that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't like shitting on video games, but damn, man. Come on, bruh. So, I went back before I fully rendered this thing out and everything. Uh, you're seeing some NASCAR Heat gameplay just because... Uh, You've seen it before, but whatever. Uh, the AI, too, man. This is nothing I'm going to bitch about, man. I, I don't want to end this thing. I don't want to have this thing go 10 minutes because people are going to be like, oh, you went 10 minutes because of ads. I don't make shit on these videos, man. I don't make no money. Uh, this The AI don't even look like they, they want to race, either. I forgot all about that while I was talking about the fucking bouncing shit. The AI don't even look racy. They look like they're on a train. They're on a train track. I hope that's not in the game when it launches either because they look like they on a track, bro. Every car is like in the same line. Nobody's pulling out to make a pass. Like that shit's another thing that's kind of scary about this game is 
the AI don't look like they're racy at all. And I mean, I you can play Hot Wheels on medium, and they make passes, and they want to make passes. Uh, you you can play Wreckfest, and they want to make passes. Like they will Wreckfest, they'll drive into you to pass you. Forza, Gran Turismo, all these console games have AI that want to race. And mm, this one doesn't really look like it. He didn't have them either. There's a couple times in heat where I've been passed. And it's not because my tires are dead or anything like that. Like, I've been passed pretty clean in some of the heat shit. But damn, bro. Alright, now I'm done. Done with my tangent. 